Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Hui Liu from San Jose, California, United States. My email is ibridgepy at gmail.com. iBridgePy is a easy-to-use Python platform to help traders to build automated trading robots. In this tutorial, I will talk about different configurations in iBridgePy. From version 6.1.1, iBridgePy changed to a new configuration system. Prior to uh, version 6, to set different, to, to change configurations, what you should do is to set values in runme.py, which is the main entrance of iBridgePy. After version 6, the new configuration has, system has changed to settings py file so that when you need to change configurations you need to add it in the settings.py file iBridgePy always keep backward compatibility as a main point so that we still keep the old way working which means you can also set some values in runme.py but the recommended way is to setting values in settings.py. I will do a demo to show you how to do change log level, how to change repeat bar frequency, how to configure the function of before trading start, and how to change run models. After you see how to change these four values, in the future, you when you need to change some other values, you will just follow the similar rules. So let's do the demo together. So first, let's open runme.py in Spider. Also, let's open this settings.py. Let me open it. So go to where you unzip your iBridgePy and then go to the root folder. You can see runme.py and settings.py. Open this file. This is the new setting system, configuration system for hybrid pad. The first, let's talk about setup change, actually change log levels. There are four possibility, possible values for log level, which are error, info, debug, and not set. If you want to read more about it, you can go to ibridgepy.com, ibridgepy documentation. You can read about the log level. The default log level is info, which is the just show you the basic information. And you can turn up the log level to debug and to not set. Let me do the demo first. So right now the log level is info and which is the default value. Let's change to show positions and run show positions. This is typical information printout when we change the when we use the log level as info. If we change actually when you are working on your project very likely you want to see more information and you want to debug you can change the log level from info to debug there are two ways to change log level the in the maybe you are still familiar with just change set values in runme.py like log level equals dot debug like this way and if we run it you will see much more information are displayed than the info level you can even go up to not set not set and then click run it much more information even than 
debug level. This is the only configuration way before version 6, but after version 6, you can still set log level using runme.py. However, the recommended way is to change it in settings.py. This is settings.py, and you can see log level info so that you can change it to debug. And switch to runme.py and run it again. Yeah, this is the debug level. Actually, iBridgePy has a, a free debug service. If you have something uh, suspicious using iBridgePy provided examples, you are welcome to send uh, your uh, uh, the, the, the details about how to reproduce the bug to iBridgePy at gmail.com. We will ask you first to turn up the log level to at least debug and send us the 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 information actually so that we can debug. The next thing we want to demo is the <coughs> excuse me repeat bar frequency. Similarly you can still say repeat bar frequency equals to let's say five which means the function of handle data will run every five seconds. The default value is one, which means handle handle data, the function of handle data will run every second. For example, if we run show real time prices, if we run it like this. The log level is still high, but you can see. Let, let's let's do it in the, the other way because too much information when we turn on the debug. Let's go back to settings and change the log level back to info and save it. Switch to runme.py and run it again. You can see it print out every five seconds. The function of handle data print out SPY ask price. Right now the market is close, so that ask price is minus 1.0 at this moment. And this is expected. So you can still put repeat bar frequency in runme.py. But the recommended way to do that after version 6 is to set it in settings.py. So let's change it here, change it to 5, and run it. Yeah, same thing happens. The function of handle data runs every 5 seconds. That's correct. Okay, let's restart the kernel. The next thing I want to explain is the wrong mode. The default value is wrong mode equals to trader wrong mode regular. Regular means you want to run handle data every second. This is the average pi default value. However, if you prefer to run like Quantopian, you can change the run mode to run like Quantopian so that the function of handle data will run every minute just like the same function in Quantopian. That's why this mode is called run like Quantopian. Also, 
the function of handle data will only run when US market is open. So it follows US major market, which is starting from 9.30 in the morning Eastern time and close at 4 p.m. Eastern time. However, when you are working on your project, maybe the market is not open at that moment, but you still want to run it, you can change it to run mode called pseudo run like control pin. In this mode, the function of handle data still run every minute as it does in control pin. However, it will ignore the market time so that even if the market is not open, the function of handle data will still run. I Let's do a demo. For example, we still want to print out the ask price. If we are doing the regular way, it will print out ask price every second. Oh, not every second at this moment. Because we forgot to change the repeat bar frequency, the default one is default value is one. So you can see the ask price is printed out every second because because right now the run mode is regular and repeat bar frequency is one. This is the default way. However, if we want to run handle data like in Quantopian, but right now the US market is not open, but I still want to run handle data. So I can change it to pseudo like, pseudo run like Quantopian. Switch to run me.py. Oh, because I forgot to change repeat bar frequency, so average pad just jump out said it should be repeat bar frequency should be 60 instead of 1. Then switch to runme.py and click run. In this way, it's expected to see the, the ask price will be printed out every minute instead of every second because the run mode is pseudo run like Contopian. So even if the right now the US market is not open, it's the function of run me will still be executed. Let's wait for a while and to see how it goes. At this moment, let me explain the before trade start hour nine. The default value is nine and before trade start minute is 25. So these two values defines the time when the function of before trading start when it be when it will be executed the default value is to run it at 9 25 us eastern time this is the before trading start because the typical us market opens at 9 30 so that if you want to do something before market open, you can put it into before trade start. And by changing value here, you can configure. For example, you want to do something and it will take much longer. You can configure it from 9.25. Let's say you want to spend more time, work on your function. So you can change it to 
nine five or even eight or eight zero something like that so give you more time to control it and this is how you can config before trading start yeah thank you very much for any questions please send an email to ibridgepi at gmail.com if you need any help on coding please check out our well-known render coder service more tutorials are coming please don't forget to subscribe iBridgePy is an easy-to-use Python platform to backtest and live trading. Thank you very much.